Hello and welcome to the program. My name is Philly Chris and today is uh, Saturday the 25th doing the coronavirus thing and uh, I'm sorry what was your name? I know we just met a couple Eleanor. minutes ago and we were just chatting we haven't even introduced ourselves but I was talking to Eleanor about what's going on and, and, and Eleanor what were you just telling me about the mask policy and everything? Well one minute they say you don't have to wear them on the bus and the next minute they're dragging somebody off and they don't have one on. Drivers wouldn't let me on the bus at all. And I, they said, if you're disabled, you can get on the front of the bus and they'd have to lower it. They drive right past me, they won't let me on. Was that because you did not have a mask on? I had a mask on, cane, gloves. And they still wouldn't take nope. it? Really? Well, what, did they tell you I why? I kept calling, I called and reported them. Okay? You did, okay. okay. So Sorry to hear that, yeah. one of the girls let me on, and I said, and she said, I'm eating cookies. Oh wow! With okay. no mask on, no <laughs> and but most of the I've been here twenty years, so most of the drivers know me. That's good. So they'll lower the bus, but then I found out just yes, uh, sad last Saturday, one of the drivers actually he let me on the front, and when I went to step over because they got it roped off. Right. When I went to step over, he said, Eleanor. I can lower the back. Oh, to let you in the back. Okay. I couldn't all the other drivers say that. Gotcha. I couldn't all the other drivers say that. Right. Instead of just driving past me and not letting me warm on open the door. Oh, wow. You know, it's just ridiculous. And what were you saying about you heard the policy they're ticketing people or something without masks? Okay, on? they said as of last Saturday when they were starting to ticket people who was not wearing gloves or masks in the street or in store. Even outside, you're saying? And where'd you hear that? On the news. The news, okay. And you know some people who got tickets, you're saying? Well, I you saw two pe people, I was down in Mayfair, and oh, I saw okay. two police officers okay. ticketing uh, to a lady and a gentleman, and they had a baby that didn't have a mask on also. Oh, okay. What do you think of the whole situation? What's your thoughts? <sighs> I don't know. I'm just scared. It's because mm -hmm. I don't know. They tell you one thing and then they contradict themselves. And then, you know, I, we don't know what this is, if it's airborne, whatever. How do you feel about what the news is sharing with people? Do you believe they it? They all share. They act like they're very excited about it, for one thing. Yeah, it but, is, yeah that's true. <laughs> but, but it's just, I don't actually, unless it's due to Philadelphia, I don't even watch it. I just listen to what they say about Philly. Right, okay. Because I live in Philadelphia and then I cut it off because it makes me very depressed. I understand. You know, because nobody's saying this, everybody's saying something different. Right, there's a know? lot of confusion you feel like, okay. Yeah. How do you feel the president's doing with everything? Don't ask me, please. No, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I think, I, my opinion of him is that from the very moment I saw him on The Apprentice, I always thought his ass was crazy. He looked like he was crazy. Oh, after The and Apprentice? And I only listened to one of the debates when he was running. Okay. Once. Once, okay. Because I was watching something and he came on. Right. And one thing he said that turned me off, yeah. I like war. Oh, oh, he said that? After okay. He said that, okay. I've okay. never listened to whenever he come on the TV. I'll have to go back and check. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I understand. I anything you have to say. I don't believe anything he has to say. Okay. And now all of a sudden, he wants to help. Right, I got you. That's because the election time is coming up again. Oh, okay. I see. And he wants to, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to give money for this and money for that and I'm going to help the immigrants. Yeah, right. I got you. I understand. I don't believe anything you say. Yeah, he well, does, there's so I much hope going that on. He does. Yeah. I, but at this point, and all of a sudden, this virus, then they said on the news, this has been around for at least three to four years without them saying anything. This is just, I look at Channel 3, my daughter watches 10. Okay. So she'll call me and say it, and but I haven't heard them say that. But I don't know. Who knows? Right, yeah. It's uh, There's a lot of information out there, so it's difficult to it's a lot of know exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. is, you know, so yeah. Death. Right. I want to smack you because you ain't got nothing on. Yeah, I don't have my mask on, right? <laughs> no gloves, no I don't mask. know about this ticketing thing. I have to look into that. I'm pretty sure the police don't have authority to give medical advice. And well, you know, it's also against they, our constitutional they rights. Don't miss the, they, don't, um, they don't follow through with anything. When they said they're going 
kitchen for this and kitchen for that. It's like that loud music in a neighborhood years ago. Right. They were going to tick it if it was loud. They don't yeah, do it anymore. They don't do it anymore. Okay. No. So you think they're saying it, but maybe they're not enforcing it? Nobody. I'll have to look it. into they it. I'm curious. It. I don't think they have the right to enforce that, but. We'll have to Although look into not, it, someone yeah. Someone decides they want to wear a mask. Now, in the stores, yes, people have signs up. She has a, she just back, opened back up. Oh, okay, over here. Yeah. You cannot enter without a mask and gloves. I see. Can't go. Yeah, a lot of stores are doing that now where you and can't And I can understand it. Yeah. And the guy that took me shopping, yeah. he wouldn't even go in. He sat outside. He said, shop my pad four people that had the virus. Oh, really? Which store was that? Shop right oh, the right. shop. I think I heard that on the news. But maybe, I didn't yeah. care because I had to get what I had to get. I got to do I just messed up. Right. And Same they all right. know me, so I fussed them all out. Oh, all okay. The girls. I'm like, what the hell is your glass? And your glass? <laughs> That's good. Well, you have to laugh sometimes, right? I have to keep it. Yeah. That's the only way I can keep it. Up. Well, God bless you and be safe. And years old. Oh, you look fantastic. I ain't trying to go nowhere. Well, hey, where is there to go? We're here, we're where we need to be already, right? Well, they need to hurry up and let the ship be over. I'm going to go to the casino. Right. Oh, there you go. What was your uh, full name? I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. Uh, Excuse me? What was your, your full name? Eleanor McKeever. McKeever? How do you spell it? M-C-K-E-I-B as in Victor E-R. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, be safe. I'll go ahead and stop this now.